So something I've been working on now for years is making better D-pads, better buttons, better rubbers. We started by making the Game Boy Advance shell and we made the buttons for those. We made the Game Gear shells and we did about 20 revisions of D-pads for those. We've made Game Boy original shells. We've now started going into controllers, making SNES pads. And I've always had a heavy focus on improving the responsiveness of buttons. This is a project that's taken me well over two years to perfect. There are many options to improve button presses on consoles. You can swap the physical buttons for different buttons. You can swap the rubbers. You can make different pressure, texture, and shape buttons for different responsiveness. We've done all of these things, and you can even go as far as replacing the physical buttons on the PCBs and turning them into like tactile clicky triggers, which is something we invented a few years ago now with the clicky triggers for GBA. It's since become very popular amongst the community, and many people have now offered mods and buttons for controllers and consoles. However, what I wanted to do is offer a completely solder free, anybody can do this upgrade to what you would probably call clicky triggers, more responsive triggers and more responsive button presses. And with that said, it looks as simple as this. So this doesn't look like much. This is a product that, like I've mentioned, has taken a few years to perfect. And the reason for that is to get the size, shape and overall feel of this product, which is called the Pro Pads that can go into every console universally. Every controller and every console I've tested works perfectly with this mod. You can add it to Xbox Series controllers, you can add it to PlayStation controllers, you can add it to Game Boy Originals, you can add it to Game Boy Advance controllers, you can add it to Dreamcast controllers, N64 controllers. The list goes on and on and on. So what do these little pads do and why are they important? They effectively turn what might feel as either spongy, soft, or less responsive buttons, for example, these where you have to press firmer down to get a response, into much more responsive and clicky triggers. You can do side presses from the very edge for like speedrunners, whereas at the moment without them installed, you simply can't. And it just generally overall improves the speed of button presses and the feel. So you do this on an Xbox Series X and you're playing Fortnite, you're gonna get much faster button presses. They really are worth upgrading in any controller or console you have. The perfect product to show this off on is the Super Gamepad we created. Now this is a gamepad that mimics the original SNES as close as possible, and that included the original button feel. We had a debate when I made this as to whether we had clicky triggers or not, or original kind of soft feel, and I opted for the soft feel. We've sent this out to reviewers, and, and more reviewers versus less, would prefer a more responsive clicky trigger, or in this case, A, B, and X, Y. It came in the perfect time for the new products that I was already working on to showcase this behavior. So the proof's in the pudding. Let's just show this off. Let's connect this up. Let's turn on Super Mario. And let me show you the problem in a sense with these controllers since we've released them, what people would prefer to see improved. If we just go to Super Mario and start a game, you can see the controller works fine, and it's working similar to a SNES controller. But the problem is, people expect better than original these days. So if we jump on here, for example, now and say, if I press this A button really lightly, you can see, if I press it lightly, you don't get a response. If you press it like normal play, like when you're playing around and you're just jumping as normal, then it's perfectly fine. But if you do side presses, you get nothing at all and if you do light presses as I mentioned like really soft or you know if you're doing like say quick presses like that it's very intermittent now this is the same as the original as I mentioned this is how the original kind of behaves it's a firm press and it's a soft rubber that was the intention but let's see how much of an improvement using the pro pads makes to this super game pad so all we've got to do is take off the screws at the back and for those of you interested in this, all the SNES button kits now come with these Pro Pads included for free because I feel it's the right decision. And it's something that the feedback from the community mentioned they would prefer more than original feel is simply much better responsiveness. So with the screws off, simply put them to one side. Now we will remove the PCB. And then it's as simple as installing them between the rubber and the button. So not on the circuit board, but simply between the rubber and the button. So we simply take one of each of these, 
place them inside the buttons. And then reinstall the rubber. With that done, we simply place the PCB back down. And when it's in place, before we screw it together, let's just make sure all the rubbers are in place. There we go. And you can see already you get this cool gold see-through effect on the clear versions. And with them installed, let's now take a look at how responsive the controller is. You can see you still get the shine through. And you can see already, you can hear the difference. So we now go along and get up on here so we can just comfortably stay out the way of enemies. You can see now even the lightest press like you couldn't press this any lighter if you tried. Every single press responds in a jump or obviously the dash. The D-pad is perfectly fine because the original D-pad was that responsive. It's just the A, B and X, Y buttons on these that I generally made softer. So you can see now even the slightest side press from a fingernail is enough to trigger the button. So super responsive. This allows for pressing simply anywhere you like on the button. And if you're playing in general, just the light taps always work without fail. And you can see it gives an awesome gold kind of appearance to your buttons, which is a noticeable sign that you've had the upgrade. Anybody can do this mod to any controller and instantly gain much more responsiveness to button presses. If you don't like it, you simply remove them. So it's also a completely reversible mod, super simple, and yet packed full of benefits. I'm really keen to get your guys' feedback on this and try it in every controller you have. Let us know the feedback, and I hope you enjoy this super simple and nice and cheap product that now gives everybody the ability to improve any gamepad with poor responsiveness, whether it's a Game Boy console, a controller for a modern console, or a retro console. These pro pads work across the board for everything. Thank you guys for the feedback on the SNES controller, which made this possible. And I'm glad to release yet another product to the community. That's it for this one, guys, and I'll catch you in the next.